are you too needy? Do you constantly need the approval of other people? Do you constantly need to be liked? Do you constantly need the presence of other people in your life to make your life feel like it has some kind of value to you? Now let me just say that people who are needy end up with not many people, right? And this is because when you're needy, you expect. When you're needy, you know, people just can't respect that. I know I personally don't really respect someone who's needy and that's just how it is because look, people are drawn to people who are self-sufficient and people who don't need them, right? Now, all you guys who end up in the friend zone with chicks, it's because you're too needy. You're careful about what you say with the chick. You're careful about, you know, th there's things you want to say to them but you won't say in case they don't like what you say or they you know, and it's not that girls necessarily want assholes. They don't want to be treated like assholes, clearly, but they want someone who doesn't need them. They want someone that is going to tell them no sometimes. Someone who isn't afraid to say something that will upset them. You know what I mean? Whereas you're there like, oh no, uh, um, uh. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's things like I've been on Facebook before and people have popped up. Can you like my picture in my inbox? You know what I mean? They're like, can you go on my profile and like my picture? Can you go like my. St no! If I see and I like it, I'm gonna like it. You don't need to, you don't need me to do it, or maybe you do, and if you do need someone to like your pictures, if you do need someone to like what you're putting out, then you're needy. Do you know what I mean? If you need from other people, then you're needy. Like, personally, me, I need water, I need food, I need oxygen, and as far as that, everything else is optional and shit I've gotta work for, right? I don't expect the loyal fan base I've built up, you know what I mean? That's something I've purposely gone out and got. I didn't sit there and expect them to come to me. I've done things to make sure that they are with me, you know what I mean? And it's the same for anybody out here that's got a fan base or, or whatever around them. They've got that because they've built that and they've done the things for that. They didn't sit back and expect it, they didn't need it. You know, it's just something they've got, they wanted it, so they got it. Just needing approval in general is just, you're never gonna be respected if you need people's approval. Like, I just say with me, I was posting a year ago when I didn't have much of a following the exact same way I am now, standing up, saying what I gotta say. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact, there are people who are on my friends list that sit there and when they see one of my things pass through the newsfeed, I know they're mad. I know they're looking like, oh, this motherfucker again, this know-it-all, all oh, this shit. People have tried to tell me. I don't hear it, you know what I mean? I see it, but I don't register or whatever. But like, I know people are sat there thinking, this motherfucker, you know? But I don't need them to like me, right? I don't need everybody to be on board. So I mean, I just want the people who are to let me know. You know what I mean? Who gives a fuck about who doesn't, right? And if you're going around trying to please everyone because of that need of approval, look, you you heard it from when you were literally probably about this high or whatever, right? You can't please everyone. And when you try to please everyone, you end up pleasing nobody because you're not standing for anything. You're inconsistent. You're all over the place because you're trying to please them that way and them that way. And then when those people see you trying to please them people that way, which isn't true to how you please them, then it's like, well, who is this motherfucker, right? And this motherfucker is just a needy person that needs everybody on board. And until you can get out of being needy, until you can, you know, show people that you have value standing alone, then you're gonna be alone, okay? People aren't drawn to needy people because when you suck their energy out of them, you know, I need you here. You know what I mean? I need you. Like, if you like that with people, then people are like, yo, fuck, <laughs> what? Chill, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, I don't know. I, it's down to, it's everyone for themselves, and it? it's everyone who just wants to do what they want to do and shit and if you feel needy there's got to be a reason behind it so just figure out what that reason is but whatever just make it just make it a priority to stop being needy for shit and just hold your own and do your own thing because you know no one's going to respect you until you stand in the middle of the room like what and i don't mean in an aggressive way trying to fight i just mean like i don't care what you think what this is me deal with it you know what I mean? Until you can be like that, people aren't going to respect you because until you can be like that, you, you're not your real self. You, or at least you haven't discovered who you are. But don't get mad, get motivated, don't make hits, make history, stop being needy, get some self-value, be self-sufficient, go out there and stand up on your own two feet and say, this is me, deal with it. If you don't like it, go long. Peace.